Hi, welcome to Linux Zone. In this video, I will install the Artix Linux XFCE D init version in VMware. This is Arch based distribution, so I will show how to enable Arch repositories. So let's begin. First, search for Artix Linux on Google or go to artixlinux.org. Download the torrent file or ISO of XFCE D init version. You can download other version to like Genome and KD Plasma. Now, boot up the machine with ISO, you will see this, select CD DVD ISO, press enter. You will see this desktop. Then run install Artix Launcher. You will see the screen, just choose your language, click next, then time zone, click next. Choose keyboard, click next. Now we come to partition, definitely choose first option, erase disk and install. It will delete everything on disk so, be aware of that. You can go with manual partition too if you want. Then select swap. I choose swap with no hibernate. Then click next. Now choose your username, user password and root password. Then click next. Then click install. And wait for install. After install, reboot the system. After reboot, you will see this desktop. Now, open terminal and run this pacman command. It will synchronize the pacman with servers. Now, search the display app, then select the resolution. Now, open web browser and search for Artix Linux Arch repository. Then open terminal and install wget. Run this command. Ok, now, copy the wget command from website page, then paste it in terminal, press enter. Then copy the file, run this command. It will copy the mirrorless-arch file to pacman.d directory. Then edit the mirrorless-arch file in nano, run this command. Then uncomment your country server, then save and exit. Now edit the pacman.conf with nano text editor. Scroll down to the end of file. Then copy paste the arch repository to the file like this. Also Arch Universe Repository too. Do the same thing again. Then save and exit. Now run Pacman and update command like this. Now install the Artix Kyrene and Arch Linux Kyrene, run this command. Now 
Now, update the carrying run this command, this will take few minutes. Now install OpenVM tools. Now, run this command with nano to create a dinit file for OpenVM tools. You can name it, like VM tools SD. And write these lines that show on screen. Then save and exit. Now install Fuse DNA with Pacman. Run this command. Now enable Fuse Service with DNA CTL command. Now enable VN tool SD. Remember the file name created earlier. Write exact name of service file. Then reboot the system. Now, you can automatic resize your desktop resolution in VMware. So that's it in this video, like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video.